at half past two on a Sunday afternoon, Ambassador Namura and Special Envoy Kurosu, Japan's representatives, called at the State Department in Washington. But at that very minute, Japan's warships had crept westward, had reached a predetermined point for an attack upon the United States. Squadrons of Japanese bombers took off from carriers. In the early hours of a fateful morning, Japan's aircraft roared from their floating bases in an act of naked aggression against a country with which her statesmen still talked peace. Carrier-borne bombers are aimed at the Pearl Harbor naval base at Hawaii. The Arizona, 32,600-ton battleship, was our worst casualty. A thousand-to-one shot bomb found its way through her funnel. Oil burning on the water frames the 1915 veteran in jet-black smoke. These scenes show the full extent of the damage done to the Arizona. On the afternoon of the attack, all ships unscathed by Nippon's bombers headed for sea and vengeance. The Japs concentrated on our long-range patrol planes. We lost three destroyers, and here are two of them, the Kassen and the Downs. At Malaya, Japanese forces land north of Singapore, focal point of Japan's effort. Unlike Pearl Harbor, Singapore is vulnerable, and Singapore controls Japan's approach to the Dutch East Indies.